welcome Scorpio, thanks so much for joining me and welcome to the song series. This is the video series where I have been dedicating a song to each sign and this song is a song that after quite a bit of research I've discovered really represents the energy of your sign. So before I dedicate my song to you, Let's take a quick look at where we are in the zodiac. So we started our journey in Aries, which is right over here. And we have come all the way down here to Scorpio. We have fallen into the depths of, we are falling into the depths of winter and I really like that word fall. I've used it as opposed to the British autumn, which is what I grew up using. But I think the Americans have got a fantastic word there for because we fall into the deep, dark depths of winter, winter time. I'm going to do a quick recap on your sign. So you are ruled by Mars. Your element is water. You are symbolized by the scorpion. And your motto is I control. Now each sign has a different motto. Uh, we were just in Libra a moment ago and they were I weigh. I weigh things up. And you guys are I control. Uh, your sign originally rules the eighth house of transformation, death, other people's assets. And assets could also be energy. Now other people's energy, what could that be? Secrets. So there are a lot of secrets uh, tucked away in this sign. I've also got a note here saying that you are one of the most misunderstood of all signs. And I want to do something about that. I want to change that. And I am hoping that my song dedication to you is going to offer some reputational transformation, if you will. You know, so that you come out of this video feeling like I have got one of the best signs ever and you do. This is a magnificent sign. This is one of the most exciting and interesting parts of the zodiac. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I, I really love this part of the zodiac. I think it's, it's really fantastic because the potential of what you can do here, how much transformation you can achieve here is, is I think, uh, the greatest. It's, the, it's got the greatest potential for change, which is simply magnificent. Where else can you go in the Zodiac for that? Uh, I looked at various songs. You know, one that sprang to mind was Robert Palmer, Doctor Doctor, Give Me the News, I Got a Bad Case of Loving You. I mean, that did pop into my mind. But, you know, again, that's kind of buying into some of the cliches around Scorpio. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to be original, I wanted to be cool, I wanted to be funky, I wanted to think out of the box. And I did come up with something that does just that. And it gives your, your brand, if I could use that word, uh, you know, your, it gives, it does, it gives your brand a, a boost, a reputational uplift. God, I feel like I'm working in PR or something. Maybe I am for this small segment. Maybe this is a little PR stunt for the Scorpios here. Why not? You know, I mean, I think you could use a bit of positive PR. Um, but before I get to the song, I will say that this doctor, doctor, give me the news. There is something in that because a lot of surgeons come out of this sign. Uh, I've investigated, you know, I, I, I've done a chart for a surgeon uh, that I know. This person wanted the chart done. I did the chart and I could see myself. Mars, wow, um, you know, an eighth house, and yep, that person had it all going on. So, and that's and that's someone that I've known for many years too. Uh, the song that I chose for you, Scorpio, is "New Sensation" by Michael Hutchins. This is a really cool song, right? Really cool. I mean, when you're going into the depths of winter. You want to be hanging out with really cool people because it's cold and you want cool people. <laughs> I mean, look, we are not dancing with Justin Timberlake up here anymore in Taurus. 
That's where we were a long time ago. We were here. We were just in Timberlake and we were dancing and can't stop the feeling and all that kind of thing. Now, you're going somewhere here. You want to be with someone cool and that is definitely Michael Hutchins. He's super cool. This sign, this part of the zodiac is also all about death, transformation, purification. It's also the point of greatest release. And what does that mean? Greatest release means it's the point of potentially the most purification. It's the, it's the point of potentially the highest purification. That is the potential. Whether it happens or not is another story, right? And, and in terms of the hero's journey and the hero's story and as you go through the zodiac and if you do get to a point in your life where you are given the option to release everything totally but it means that that stuff becomes visible and let's say you're ashamed of it and let's say you don't release it fully right that, this is the point. This is the point where if God is standing there and he says, hand over your most messed up stuff, right? Before I let you proceed on your journey, you have to give me the worst of it. Everything messed up, whatever you're ashamed of, secrets, bad stuff, give it to me now. And, you know, then the rest of the journey will be easier. Now, how many people had the courage to really give all of that up and achieve the highest point of purification. Uh, not many. I tell you, it, it takes courage. And I think the reputational damage that's been done to this sign is that people associate it with the, the messed up stuff. I'm going to say messed up stuff. I, I'm going to say it, but, but like... Or the stuff that people don't want to let go of. People associate this sign with that, I think. I mean, I haven't associated it with that. Uh, I know Scorpios very, very well. And, you know, various relatives. Um, spent lots of time personally. Had best friends with Scorpios. All You name it. I know this sign very well. I think the, some of the most amazing people come out of here. Uh, amazingly strong and tough and at ease with all aspects of life you know just incredible people come out of here I so I personally didn't know there were any bad connotations with this sign when I came to the point that oh people have an interesting reputation about Scorpio is when I was uh, this was some months ago I was out at a conference and there was another astrologer present and there were a whole bunch of life coaches there and somehow we went around in the circle and we were talking about what star sign we are i didn't raise it the the other astrologer did anyway one of the people said oh i'm a scorpio and several people in that group went whoa like that and there was this reaction and i'm observing this reaction going well hang on a minute scorpio is great what's this about but there is, I think there is a bit of a, an interesting reputation. And I, I can only think from having studied and researched and read and, and, you know, as I've been putting this presentation together, I can only think that people are associating it with what needs to be released rather than the potential of pure, you know, total purification. That's what I'm thinking. So for me, I just think this is a wonderful sign. You look at this song, New Sensation. You can absolutely achieve a, a totally new sensation here. You can feel like you have never felt in your life. If you get that right, if you get that transformation right, if you heal, if you really, you know, shed and sort it out, my God, you'll feel a new sensation. Wow. You will feel like you've never felt in your life, you know. This is a terrific part of the zodiac, much, uh, I think, underestimated 
an underappreciated part of the zodiac. I, I think it's a really terrific place. You know, yes, you can heal in Virgo, you can heal the physical body um, here. In Virgo, definitely. Yep, you can heal the physical body here, but you will heal extremely deep, deep, deep stuff in Scorpio. And when I was in Cancer, that was up here, I think I mentioned um, Scorpio there too because it's a fellow water sign. And I said that still waters run deep for Scorpio. Absolutely. Uh, I remember in Australia we went, our school took us on some kind of hiking trip and we went through these rainforests and it was absolutely stunning and we saw glowworms at night time and during the day we went quite deep into the rainforests and there was a huge waterfall, these big dark rocks and this incredible pool of water and they said that they don't know how deep it is but in some parts it was 80 meters deep that took my breath away i was only able to go in as far as my knees because the water was ice cold it was so freezing but uh yeah that 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 deep kind of pool that that always reminds me of scorpio's great depths you know that can be scary for some people i know it was scary for me Let's take a look at some lyrics before I get carried away. I can really get carried away here, Scorpio, because I love your sign so much. Now, let's take a look at these lyrics. So he sings, live, baby, live, now that the day is over. You see, the light is a lot less here. You know, if we were to look at the analogy of a day, now that the day is over. So we're in the nighttime, we're in the winter time. Okay, we're down in the depths. Uh, I got a new sensation, sleep, baby, sleep. Now that the night is over and the sun comes like a god into our room, all perfect light and promises. I love those two lines. And the sun comes like a god into our room, all perfect light and promises. The Mars and sun, they are friends, right? And Mars likes the sun. The sun likes Mars, of course. You know, they're a couple of guys, guy, guy friends, right? They get along. Uh, but I also always think that Mars is a bit of a bad boy. And Mars is the kind of guy that the guys want to be like and the girls want to date. You know, the guy on the motorbike, the rebel, the cool guy, all that kind of thing. Hence why I chose Michael Hutchins in this song for you, you know, because you're so cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, the sun comes like a god into our room, all perfect light and promises. So that is Leo in our diagram here. And do you remember when we were up here, if you've been with me through the whole series, you'll remember that, you know, it was all perfect light and promises, wasn't it? There was a royal wedding and everything was perfect and it was just beautiful and it was um, regal and royal and everyone was wearing their best clothes and everything was so perfect or perfect light and promises and you know this Mars if Mars was singing this song he's kind of singing you know and the Sun comes like a God into our room all perfect light and promises he's kind of singing if he's if Mars is singing this say for example to a girl he's kind of saying to her well, yeah, I mean, the sun, he's cool and all that, and he's all perfect light and promises, but stick with me. You know, I'll, I'll show you the real truth. I'll, I'll take you to places that are really exciting, that are really cool. Come with me. Come with me. You know, the sun, yeah, he's all right. You know, he's all perfect light and promises, but stick with me. You know, it's going to be more fun with me. It's going to be more dangerous with me, but you, you're going to like it kind of thing. Um, yeah, I, I just... I love this. The lyrics continue. Dream, baby, dream of all that's come and going. And you will find out in the end, there really is, there really is no difference. Great lines. You will find out in the end, there really is, there really is no difference. That's death, right? Your sign does represent death. Death and transformation. Death is final. Death doesn't care if you're rich or poor, or happy, or sad, or anything. Death is coming for all of us, <laughs> you know, and in our lives, our lives are punctuated by death. 
you know, the death of a relationship, the death of a career, the death of an era. You know, the good times do end. That's truth. You know, that's real. That happens. That is part of our life. And, you know, we just, we just need to learn how to, how to get through, how to carry on, because we do carry on. Even when it comes to that moment where we shake off this mortal coil, and uh, I think that's what Shakespeare calls it, you know, we transform. We transform then as well. I truly believe that. And since you're here watching an astrology video, I'm very sure that you believe that as well. So that's good. Uh, and there are plenty of near-death experiences that we can learn from. I have learned so much from so many near-death experiences uh, and there are many that are being shared online. Such a wonderful thing to tap into. Okay, let's keep going with these lyrics. So we've got cry, baby, cry, when you've got to get it out. I'll be your shoulder, you can tell me all. Don't keep it in you. You know, and, and those lines are really touching on that moment that, you know, if God is there saying, just, just look, give me everything, all right? You're going to pass through, but before you do, give me everything if you can. You know, and it would be wise to to get it out. As he sings here, when you got to get it out, I'll be your shoulder, you can tell me all, don't keep it in you. Okay, release. This is the final point of release. Do it. Release. You know, don't be ashamed. Don't don't worry if, if secrets come to light or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Get it out. Heal. Move forward. Experience a new sensation. Uh, hate, baby, hate when there's nothing left for you. You're only human. What can you do? It'll soon be over. And if you look at those lines, hate, baby, hate, I'm pretty sure these are the lines where he does this kind of dance move and he taps his hands above his head and he sings these lines and his gaze with the camera is entirely unbroken. It's really fantastic. The camera is just there with him. His hands are down. He's, he's dancing. Everything's open. He's vulnerable. He is in an unbroken way connected with you. That is a fantastic part of the film clip. And I wanted to point that out because, you know, Scorpios can be intense, right? And that's wonderful. Don't, if you are a Scorpio, and you would be watching this, of course, uh, unless you are watching this on behalf of a partner and you're in love with a Scorpio, because I know many of us, we kind of watch what our partner is, you know, don't we? But uh, <laughs> so but Scorpios have this intensity, don't they? And it's that unbroken gaze and they can be full on, you know. I say, be intense, do it, you know. God, I think that's great to me. I think that's a gift. I think that's fantastic. Be intense. I love it. Don't, don't ever dim that, you know. Some people, oh, we shouldn't be so intense. Ah, do it. It's good. Uh, you know, and then the next line says, don't let that pain take over you. Look at that. I mean, you know, the generosity and the potential of, what you're able to do here if you get an opportunity like that you know to 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 shed everything and to cleanse and to feel renewed and to have a new sensation how beautiful is that i mean this is a profound part of the zodiac truly um love baby love it's written all over your face and i mean the other thing is look at that line hate baby hate i'm going to go back a slide sorry i'm, I'm jumping around here because i'm getting excited hate baby hate one of the things I love about this song is that it's so real and it's so true. It's like every emotion is valid. Everything is valid here. A and there is no judgment. There is nothing messed up here. Even though it is, give me your most messed up stuff, but it's not being judged. There's no judgment here. You know, it's just, it is what it is. You know, and, and we all have rubbish, you know, and we've all got rubbish bins in our kitchens, you know, and we... We gladly take those out and there's no shame or problem in that, but it's kind of, I don't know, our internal rubbish, our abstract rubbish that somehow we judge. And uh, I don't think we should. I think we should treat it like the rubbish in the kitchen, you know? It's part of life, something we do, you know? Uh, I, I don't see that we should judge anything. All emotions are good and valid and natural, right? And that's, that's the other thing about this sign. It, it, it's a very natural part of the zodiac. Everything is natural here. 
and things aren't judged. I, you know, the more I think about Scorpio, the more I think it's just sensational. I love it here. I, I think this is a great part of the zodiac. Okay, love, baby, love. It's written all over your face. There's nothing better we could do than live forever. Well, that's all we've got to do. And you see, the talk of death is there, right? It'll soon be over, okay? You're going to be dead. But look at that, the eternal light. What do we come to? We come to love, baby, love. It's written all over your face. There's nothing better we can do than live forever. Look at that, eternity. What's on the other side of that death? It's the height of purification. It's eternity. It's, you know, gosh, I mean, infinity even. I mean, it, it, it's... it's it's, it's what you want it to be uh, and it's what you're able to do how much are you able to shed how courageous are you you know it's a really terrific part of the zodiac so now Scorpio what is great about your sign as with each sign I have been going through and saying what is great about each sign I want this song series to really be a celebration of the beauty of each sign and I've got a note here saying, I believe you're the toughest in the zodiac. Yep, I absolutely do. I'm giving that mantle to you. I'm giving that to you. Absolutely, you're the toughest. Uh, I think, you know, you've got to be made of tough stuff to come through here and to do so honestly and with integrity and, you know, there's courage needed to shed your stuff, your deepest stuff, and really heal. Not many people do it. Not many people really do it. You know, a lot of people stay in their comfort zones. A lot of people uh, are not interested in change, you know. And I think change is really the only constant in life when you get down to it. Uh, I've got a note here. Surgeons are seen from this sign, as we said. People who dig deep and uncover secrets. People here make excellent mystics, absolutely. The best emotional and trauma healers come out of here, absolutely. They know how to dig deep, they know the territory, they know what to do, they understand, they don't judge, you know. Everything's natural, of course it should be, you know. Uh, these people here definitely heal the collective consciousness. And I've got a couple of examples here. One is Princess Diana in the Sidereal Vedic system. She is a Scorpio. And her eighth house is beautifully lit up with Sun and Mercury. And with her, if we apply the Bhavam principle, the eighth house is next door to the ninth house of establishment. And the twelfth from a sign is kind of the death or end or loss of that house. I'm pretty sure I've got this right. And uh, that kind of makes sense because she was kind of it's potentially controversial but she was sort of maybe trying to bring down um, the establishment of the royal family maybe I don't know various theories on that I, I've watched a lot of documentaries about all that um, but yeah she her eighth house is very beautifully lit up and she was about exposing secrets and uh, that sort of activity there's also the head of WikiLeaks whose name I won't mention because he is still very much uh, on this earth, but the head of WikiLeaks, who famously has also been exposing secrets, he is also Scorpio rising in the sidereal Vedic system, as Princess Diana is, and his eighth house is also beautifully lit up, and he has been exposing secrets uh, on a world stage. So that's that's profound potential of this sign. Look at that, the cleansing that can go on here at every level from the individual right through to the collective. Remember we are in the collective uh, part of the zodiac here and this is impressive stuff that's going on. So if I had a tip for you dear Scorpio, what would it be? Well, gosh, I mean it's so deep and involved and intense going on here and my tip is to, to head over. My apologies about that Scorpio. It looks like the camera just died how appropriate how completely appropriate for that to happen in your song in your song dedication video we've just been talking about death and the camera died it's quite poetic really isn't it gave me a chance to 
reformat my memory card so it's at the point of pure purification, it's highest purification. Um, yeah, and I feel renewed. I feel like I have a new sensation. So, you know, this has gone very well. I knew I'd speak for a bit longer on your sign. I, I really knew that that was going to happen. So you guys are getting some some good value here. Uh, I think it died at the point where I was giving you your tip, which actually shows that you really don't need this tip at all. You know, I think the universe is just kind of saying, Scorpio doesn't need to do this. But I'm going to give you the tip anyway. And the tip is, it's a bit of a trivial tip. You know, it's a bit of a comedy tip for you guys because you're so deep and you're so cool and you're so deep and you're down here. I wanted to bring you up here to just say, why don't you hang out with Justin Timberlake and put some sunshine in your pocket, which is a bit of a trivial comedy tip, but um, why not, you know? And to understand what that means, you're very welcome to watch the Taurus video or you can stick with me because I think you're going to love the next sign, actually. I think you're going to love the rest of the zodiac. Because I personally think this fall, winter time, as we lead up to spring, I think this is where all the drama and excitement is. But shh, don't tell all the other signs I said that. So if you would like, you're very welcome to join me in the next sign, which is Sagittarius.